Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Hope everyone is enjoying the festive season and staying safe. Today we're going to go through the steps of how to mine Ethereum. Choosing the mining software, choosing a pool to mine to, and setting up the batch file to mine with your AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards. Today we're going to be doing NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards in one machine and see how it runs. We're going to start with mining pool stats. All the links for the websites and software that we're going to go through today will be down in the description below. If we click on Ethereum, these are the pools that you can mine to. I will be using ethermine.org. I've always used it. So let's go to ethermine.org. Click on start mining and the, these are the settings that you will be using to run the mining software to mine on this specific pool. We need to decide on what mining software to use. Claymore used to be quite a popular mining software to use but it's been decommissioned for some reason. Phoenix Miner is the next best option. Let's go to the download page of Phoenix Miner and download Phoenix Miner. I will leave all links in the description below for easy downloading. Now that we are on the Phoenix Mining website, we can select download. The version that we are downloading and is the latest version is 5.4c. Once the software has been downloaded, you will need a zipping program to actually unzip this file. If not, and you try and unzip this file, you'll actually get an error. The reason for that is that there is actually a password on this compressed file. Without any zipping program, you won't be able to extract this file. A zipping program that I use quite often is 7-zip. I'm going to download the 64-bit version. Now that we've downloaded the zipping program and installed, we can right-click on the file, 7-zip, and extract to folder. The password is in the file name as well, which is Phoenix. And there we go. Once opening the folder, you've got quite a few batch files that have been populated for specific pools and for different coins as well, like Ethereum Classic. You've got a Bitcoin Interest, Callisto, and quite a few other coins as well. We're going to be using Ethermine, which is number five. Right click on the file, click on Edit. And you've got your batch file. So you've got your mining software. You've got the pool that you're joining. I'm in South Africa, so EU1 is the closest. You need to get your Ethereum address. So if you're using an exchange, you can just copy that specific Ethereum address and paste it in over there. Worker, you could give your worker a name. So we've edited our Ethereum address, we've changed our worker name, close the file, make sure you save it, double click on the file, and you should be mining with those graphics cards that you have in your PC. As you can see, we've got our RTX 2070 Super, GTX 1070, RX 5700 XT, and our GTX 1660 Super. So we've got both NVIDIA and AMD cards. The DAG files will be created on each graphics card. And with these four cards, we can see we're getting 152 mega hash. 
The RTX 2070 Super is using 126 watts. The GTX 1070 is using 128 watts. The RX 5700 XT is using 115 watts. And the GTX 1660 is using 117 watts, which is a bit high. And the reason is probably because the graphics card is running at stock settings. It's not undervolted and overclocked. So let's take a look at those settings. And as you can see, the GTX 1660 is running at stock settings. Let's make sure that that is at 75%. Overclock of 750 on the memory. Seeing that we're only mining Ethereum. And then let's turn this up to 100. Okay. And you'll see it will jump up from 26.5 megahash to 29 megahash. Just should be just under 30 megahash. You can see that the watts has dropped as well to 99 watts. Let's take a look at what to mine to see what our profits on this specific rig is. We know how much power consumption it's using and we know what the total hash rate is as well. So it's 156 at 466 looking at what to mine we've got 156 mega hash at 466 watts we are doing about 18 cents per kilowatt which is high compared to the rest of the world calculate and we see that ethereum is generating about eight dollars and 28 cents per day and that's before electricity and we're garnishing about 0.01 ethereum per day looking at nice hash, if you had the same amount of mega hash per second at that specific watt you would actually lose out on a dollar but this does fluctuate as well depending on what nice hash actually pays for for specific hash rates and those were the steps on how to mine ethereum with phoenix miner to a specific pool just to recap on how to mine ethereum in five easy steps choose the coin you want to mine which is ethereum choose the pool that you're going to mine to we chose ethermine.org you need to choose the mining software there is quite a few to choose from. We went with Phoenix Miner 5.4C. You need to set up the batch file. Check your overclocking and undervolting for your graphics cards. And happy mining Ethereum. Hope this guide helps you to set up your mining server to mine Ethereum. Please leave your comments down below what you think. And if this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.